Yeah, close it. Okay, guys, so you always want to watch out for these little boogers. Uh, they will get you. I always carry a uh, can of wasp spray in my truck. So uh, I'm going to give this camera off to Adam and see if we can't get inside this house. A lot of times these old vacant houses, the locks don't even hardly work. So uh, come on in. Let's look around. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take the camera, y'all check this out. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tour you around. Here you got just a nasty, cruddy sink. Cabinets are just full of junk. Uh, holes in the wall. <laughs> yeah, cabinets uh, definitely need to be replaced, I would say. So, uh, some sheetrock damage uh, over there. Uh, we won't even read what that actually says. So here, you know, you got a hole in every wall. And uh, it, it's important that you take a look at this because what happens is you're going to be missing electrical. This hole right here in the ceiling, you don't know this yet, but what that is is that's where someone broke in, got inside the attic, and took the furnace out of the attic. They actually took the air handler out of the attic because the furnace is right here. Good water heater. Boy, someone must, they must be ready to come back. You notice that there's a hole in every wall, busted windows, some separation there at the top. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> wow, this is one of those houses. Uh, you know, this is what we do. We, uh, there's a lot of people that won't come over to this house because the lady won't meet them. And because uh, she lives in Houston, she probably has been told how bad this house is. She doesn't want to come. She's, you know, she, her, her deal is if someone can take this headache off her hand, it's not about the money. It's about the convenience. And I'm not even going to guess what that is that's smeared on that wall. Uh, I don't even want to stand too close to it. So, uh, yeah. My guess about what that was on that wall was exactly right. Uh, there's some on the floor there too. So, I mean, then you even got, uh, looks like they smeared some on a piece of paper so that they could really, uh, boy, they must have not liked their landlord. So we've already been in that room, already been in that room. Uh, let's see, this looks like it might be a master bedroom. <laughs> we could have just came in that window. So, yeah, you're definitely looking and a lot of, hey, look, so your kids can crawl directly through the wall into your bedroom. It's very convenient. Uh, this is one of those bathrooms that, ah, uh, more smear. <laughs> wow. Uh, you notice that the wall tiles all just collapsed in. You, you just plan to gut this whole bathroom. I mean, it's about 2500 bucks. So, um, let's see. Here's the hall bath. There's no need to even go in there. Uh because I can tell you that there's stuff smeared, and when I say stuff, just think of another word that starts with S, uh, all over the place, and uh, you know, some kids have even been enjoying themselves here in this house. So, this is a very common thing that you find in these type of houses, and uh, you know, you, you can't think of this house. Now, yeah, if, if you're not experienced, uh, you don't come to these houses alone, no matter how experienced you are. You always bring someone, that's why I brought my good Marine buddy Adam. Uh, Adam and I are both Marines. We've been working together for, I don't know, five, six years. And, uh, hey, we're not afraid of anyone together. But, uh, yeah, you don't ever want to go into these houses alone because what will happen is uh, you come into these houses alone, you might spook a vagrant, uh, someone that's homeless that's just hanging out in the house. And uh, you, a good situation can turn bad real quick. So, I've walked the house. I know about what it's going to take to estimate the repairs. I'm going to do some, uh, drive some comparables, and uh, we'll make an offer. I'll let you guys that uh, join the program know how this turns out. See ya.